Welcome back to the Jack Sparrow channel. I am Jack and it has been a bit of a hiatus, huh? Been a little while. Been very busy. Very busy indeed. Lots of things have happened. I sidestepped the John Gruden issue because, well, I just don't care. I don't watch NFL, so I just don't care. I loved the NFL up until 2017 time period, 2016 time period, and then my love for it started to dwindle by the year until now. I just don't care. I made a video discussing the John Gruden fiasco, but just didn't, just didn't upload it. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about the Lord God, I mean, the man, uh, y'all know I'm the Keebler Cookie Elf, Dr. Anthony Fauci, come on down. And this guy's 80, 81, something like that. He says that we can have Halloween. What a nice guy. What a really nice guy. He's greenlit Halloween for us. I mean, that is amazing news. Thanks. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. It's so nice that you left your cookie baking tree to tell us lowly serfs, us peasantry, that we can celebrate Halloween like you have any ability to do so. Now, I tend to be on the side this may rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I tend to believe that Halloween, or All Hallows Eve, is not a positive holiday for little kids to dress up in costumes and get candy. It originated with witches and warlocks and stuff, so it's not exactly a... It's not based on a family-friendly holiday, let's just say that. So... Um, is, uh, Dr. Elf here, uh, is he green lighting this thing for us or for them? Because, you know, maybe they have some sort of sorcery planned for that day. Maybe they want to be the ones handing out the tricks and treats if you get them adrift. Who knows? I mean, remember, it was only a few weeks ago that... Uh, you know, that the Keeper Cookie Elf did say that it was too early to know if we were going to be allowed to have Christmas. Well, I'm sure they'd love to take Christmas away from us. Something that represents a lot to even non Christians to celebrate Christmas, right? So, I mean, he did say that. It's too early to tell if we were allowed to have Christmas. Like, you know, who the hell is he to say we can have Christmas? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. These people, they think, uh, these people think that they're just the lords of the earth or something. They're insane. By the way, as an aside, I really despise driving. Um, unless it's a twisty, turny road in the middle of freaking nowhere, mountain road or something like that in the middle of nowhere. I hate driving because then you got to deal with all these nitwits. That's the nicest way I can put it. Anyway, it's very nice of the Kubli, Kubli, <laughs> Keebler Cookie Elf to come down from on high step out of his cookie baking tree and tell us all the lowly serfs and peasants that we are allowed to have our uh, costume party also known as Halloween. Uh, it would be really nice if he could just go back to uh, baking cookies in his tree and if that thing burns down he can just you know go and make shoes instead 
Uh, he, he is not the caliber to make the toys in uh, Santa's workshop. I, I really think he should be demoted to making trees. All right, well, yeah. But he should be really demoted to uh, making shoes as the old cobbler sleeps. <sighs> How is this man not behind bars? I mean, I know it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not allowed to, you know, criticize any of these people now. You're not allowed to criticize the medical procedures that they're foisting upon the population. You're not allowed to criticize these things because that's evil. I don't really care. The guy's a career criminal and a career murderer. And he should be, well, not behind bars. He could be set adrift in a slowly sinking life raft in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle, and I would not bat an eyelash. Okay? Uh, he could be... Well, what else could we have him do? Oh, yes. We could string around a... Uh, we could string a bunch of herring around his neck, and set him loose in Antarctica with the uh, penguins and he could be, you know, attacked by a gigantic vicious horde of penguins. Something like that. I'm sure that would uh, please a lot of people. It would make my day. <sighs> Unbelievable. Outrageous. Outrageous. You can green light, you can green light Halloween, but you can't green light Christmas. As if, again, again, this is the part that blows my mind, as if it is his place to do so. I will celebrate whatever freaking holiday I darn well please. When I do it, a, a festival, a holiday, a feast, I will do what I want, where I want, when I want, and how I want, with who I want. That's called liberty, dude. And uh, you don't get to take liberty away. It's not yours to take. Liberty is God-given. Liberty is God-given, not man-given. And I believe there's a quote that says, <clears throat> be wary of any and all who come after that sacred fruit, liberty, something like that, paraphrasing. He falls under that category. Very wary. Anyway, the sun is rising up over the mountain. It is time for me to put on my once majestic but now broken sunglasses and get to work. So until next time, it's been Jack. We'll talk to you again real soon.